Hey guys, so same and welcome to project 37 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this expand and collapse card project by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So now here you can see we have this gaming image right here. So if you click on this another game image right here, so here you can see it will now expand this card and it will now collapse this one. So if you click on this one, so it will now expand this one and collapse that one and so on and so forth. So if you click on that, so it will now just collapse it and expand it. So this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our coder and write our code. For that, we have to create a folder, give them a name of like 037 point expanding, expanding cards, cards. All right, so inside this folder, we have to create three files like index.html and then style uh, dot CSS and then finally we have to just write like uh, app dot JS okay so that's there so now let me just zoom in a bit so that we can see everything a bit clearly all right so the first thing I would do is I would just write dot type HTML and then here I'll just change this text to like expanding cards and now let's just link it with our CSS and our JavaScript file okay so now let's just hide this metadata and right click on and open with live server and that's that all right so for HTML I'm gonna just first of all write a div with a class of container and inside this container we would have another div with a few classes like slide and then background image and then we have an image dash one and also active Okay, so these are the classes which we provide to this div and inside this div we will have h3 and no classes whatsoever. So we are going to be writing like dark cider 2 and now let's just duplicate this a few times and maybe five times will be fine. And now let's just change this one to first of all remove that active from there and then image 2 and then change the name of it to like Assassin's Creed. Now let's just remove that active and then just write a image 3 and then also remove this active from there and then 4 will be fine and then also change this name watch dogs 2 and also it will be now equals to 5 and now remove that active class from there then we have a call of duty so i'll just write call of duty seven and this is how it looks like currently right now okay so i'm going to jump right into my css and now let's just style it so the first thing I would do is I'll just provide a little bit of like box sizing or portal box to it and then I'll just select my body with the font family of send serif you can choose whichever font you like and display will be flex online items will be totally center justify content will be center and then we have a height of 100 vh and then we have margin of nothing and then background will be just set to like rgb 5 5 and 5 five for now seven and this is how it looks like right now so everything is now perfectly center but we cannot see that right here because we haven't poured any text color to it so first of all let's just select our container so now let me just select my container and inside this container we are going to be using display of flags and width of 100 we double flag for viewport width seven and we still cannot see nothing except these all right so that's that as you know what i'm gonna add a color right here save it so that we can see these text right now so that's that so the next thing which you have to do is to just select that background image right here this background image class so it will allows us to just do not duplicate our code to write a ooc like object oriented <laughs> css ooc ss or whatnot okay so just write a background size of cover cover and then background position will be just like center and then we have a background repeat of no repeat all right so that's that so now once we said we will still cannot see nothing because this is just a helper class now we have to add images to one by one like to this image one container then image two image three image four five all right so now let's just add images but first of all i've already selected these images i have all of these um images right here and i've grabbed these images from this uh, website right here so now let me just copy that and now let's just go to new tab and click on that so it will now show us all of these high quality images right here and i don't know if that's free or not i'm not sure about that <laughs> and by the way this page also take a lot of time to load up because these images are really high quality you can download it if you want to but i just right click on it and copy the image address and i found all of my images from this website come on man just loads up 
My error speed is fast but I don't know and it takes a lot of time. You can also just check out this side by yourself and then you will see the speed. So wallpaper cav.com PC games wallpaper. So that's the link. And by the way, so this is the website and I've choose these images from there. So now let me just copy each of them. So copy the first image and let me just close this one. So the next thing which you have to do is to just select or first of all image one. Okay, and now let's just change the background image over to like URL and then just paste this image, save our file. And now uh, we still cannot see it. We have this image right here, but we're import a width and height to it. This is our first image. So now let's just duplicate it until five times. So second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, so now let's just change these so like copy it, the second image and place it right here. And then change this one to two, then copy the third image and paste it right here and change this uh, one to three and then change this image. So copy it and change it to four, first of all, and then paste it, this image right here, then right click and just copy it and then paste it here and it will be fifth one, save it and we would get all of these images but it will take a little bit of time because these are high quality images and now here you can see we are done with the project <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> you're not so now let me just remove this notepad from there say bye bye to him now let's just select this slide class so i want to just select this slide right here and here we are going to be just placing a position of relative and the height will be just like 80 viewport height and flex will be zero just a flex will be 0 0.5 and then we have a border radius of 50 pixel and color will be totally white and then we have is a margin of 10 pixel and then cursor will be pointer so then transition will be just like oh and then 700 millisecond 700 milliseconds and ease in save it and these are our images kind of look like right now so now let's just select these um titles and paste it right here all right so now let's just do that so i want to select my slide and then select this h3 which is these h3s right here so let me just all of them which are these h3s right here okay so now let's just provide a little bit of position of absolute trade bottom will be 20 pixel left will be just 20 pixel and margin will be zero and opacity let me just remove this coding from opacity will be also zero and font size will be 24 pixels save it and it will not show us because we provide opacity of zero so once we unhide it and this is how it looks like right now okay so i'll just uncomment this opacity for now then we are going to be writing a class for our javascript so if our slide slide come on slide is active so then we have to just provide like a flex of five server file and this will take like 50 percent right here that's because we provide active class to this one so once we cut that from there and paste it to this one and here you can see it will take its place cut it paste it to this one and so on and then so forth okay so i'm going to just cut it and paste it to the first one and the final thing which you have to do is to just write an active start for or h3 so I'll just write like slide.active and then we want to check that h3 so if there's active so you want to provide opacity of one and then transition let me just write a transition of opacity of 0 0.3 seconds and then ease in and then finally 0 0.4 seconds so once we save our file and it will now show us this text right here and if we copy this active from there and paste it like i don't know for this fifth one save it and here you can see this call of duty right here okay so now i'm gonna just cut it from there one more time and paste it and that's that and you know what we are going to be also providing a little bit of media query so if media and then max width of 480 pixels so then we want to slide the nth child nth of type o and now let's just write a comma in there and the fifth one as well so we want to just write a display 
of none for them and now let's just remove those comma anyhow so we are almost done not almost but we are totally done with the css so now let's just jump right into a javascript and write our interactivity so the first thing i'll do is i'll just get all of the slides so i'll just write like slides it will be now equals to document.query selector and all because we want to grab all of the slides so now let me just show you the slides save it and then open our developer tools so now it will give us zero right here i don't know why okay so it's not slides it's just a slide so save it and now here you can see it will now give us all of these images right here okay so now we selected that so now the next thing which you have to do is to iterate these slides right here so slides dot for each or you can use a for loop for off loop or whatnot if you want to someone just get a slide right here and then slide dot add event listener so if you click on each of the slides so you want to fire this function right here okay i cannot see that all right so we just want to fire this function right here just zoom out a bit uh, we are going to be firing like slide dot class list dot add or active and also we want to call this function like remove current actives okay like active slides so you want to just remove that all right so copy this um, function name and here we are going to be creating this function which will take no parameters so we are going to be writing like slides and now let's just iterate over to it one more time and now let's just grab or slide dot class list dot remove and then just remove that active class to it save our file and now if you click on this one so this one will now have this uh, active class and if you click on another one so it will now just remove that active class from this one and it will add it to this one and so on and so forth so now let me just show you that in or elements tab go to the elements all right so now let's just open our container and this is our image one uh, i mean like we are working on the image four so here you can see we have this active clause right there and now if you click on the second one so just focus on this area right here so now you would just add this active clause there and we will just remove that active clause from here so if i just click on there so here you can see it will now just remove it from here and we'll place it right here and if you click on this call of duty so it will just where are you call of duty it will just place this active clause right here and it will just remove it from that second one and so on and so forth okay so that's that and that was it about for this project and also let me just add these let me just copy this from there and then let me give him a credit because those images are really more than awesome okay so that's why i want to give him a credit i don't know if they can see my repository or not but anyhow if you want to go to this site so here's that site and you can find the link of this site in my github repository or you can just uh, type it in your browser manually whatever all right so that was it about this project so the next thing i'll do is i'll just push my code into a github repository so if you guys want to stick around so you can otherwise you can jump right into the next project so for that we are going to be using get status and we have this o37 right here so now just add like get add everything and then get commit dash m and then just write like expanding cards and that's that and finally get push everything to the main and now we are live all right so kind of a bad time now we are live <laughs> and now if we refresh that so we will get is 037 expanding cards and here you can see we have this app.js file we have this index.html file and also we have this style.css file if you want to get this code and you want to just tweak around so you can do whatever you want to do with that it's open source i think that was about today's video and i'll see you in the next story bye bye